Welcome back everyone. It's your boy Killer NC and I'm back with another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. This one I'm going to show you guys what the best OBS settings are for me that I use when I record Battlefield 1 gameplay. Battlefield 1, if you pick the wrong settings, you'll drop 10, 15 FPS like it was nothing. So it's very important to pick the right settings uh, for games as intensive as Battlefield 1 are. Um, so I'm going to go step by step into my recording settings. Um, there are also streaming settings, but you know if you're in here, you want to know about recording. Um, if you want to know that my streaming settings, then just leave me a comment below. Let me know if I get enough requests, then I'll make another one for the streaming. So let's go ahead and get started with the recording settings. So in general, when you first come in, your screen is going to look like this. Your OBS is going to look like this, all pretty much all white. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that's not very easy on my eyes. So there is a theme option here. You can change it from default to dark. And that to me seems a little bit better uh, to work with. So if you want to change it for, to the dark theme, just go ahead and click here and click dark. Um, everything else I pretty much leave the same when it comes to general. Um, when you're done, if you made any changes on the screen, make sure you hit apply. Then we're moving on to output. All right, now this is one of the most important screens here. If you get this just a little bit wrong, you're going to see it. So the first thing is when you come in, you're going to see this in simple mode. Go ahead and click that and hit advanced. And there's three tabs here. There ones for streaming, ones for recording, ones for audio. We're going to go ahead and talk about the recording tab. Now, when you, the first thing is type. Go ahead and just leave that as standard. Next thing, recording path. Just go ahead and browse wherever you want your videos to be saved to. So once you have that picked, um, leave this unchecked, generate file name without space. Really, to me, that's kind of pointless, but just leave it alone. Recording format. Now, there are a couple formats that you can save. Um, it doesn't really have an effect on the game, um, as this is what it's saving it pretty much after you're done. Um, but I'm more comfortable with MP4. Um, it's easier to upload to YouTube. Um, it's faster and the quality to me is better. So it's a no-brainer. I keep it mp4 if you want you can do you know save it as a movie FLV and these other three that I pretty much have no idea what they are. So mp4 works perfectly I'm not gonna even try to guess what the other ones are for then your encoder now I have a GeForce 1060 so and, I'll, and then I have an AMD CPU. My GPU, it's better than my CPU. So here, if you want to use a GPU, you go ahead and pick whatever you want. Mine's an NVIDIA, so it's the NVENC. If you have an AMD, it'll display it here. If you don't have such a good graphics card and you have an amazing CPU and you want to use that instead as an encoder, then you would pick X264. Um, most of the time, you guys are going to be safer just go ahead and picking your GPUs as the encoder. All right, so once you're done with that, then we're the next one. Rescale output. I record everything 1920, 1080. That's pretty much the norm now in YouTube. Anything less, I mean, 720 is not that bad, but when you start going lower than that, the quality is just not worth it for anybody to view. Custom Muxer setting. I don't even mess with that. Rate control. If you're going to use your CPU, so you would choose X264, if you choose that, then your best option for this is to pick lossless. Um, but if you're going with your GPU, just go ahead and pick CBR. Now, your bit rate. So 3500 works per for, perfect for me. Then you have keyframe interval. You want to set that to two. Your preset. I pick high quality. 
Um, if you want high performance, you're going to get better performance, but your quality won't be that good. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, quality is better. If you pick high performance, you'll have a couple more FPS, but you're sacrificing quality. So to me, that's not an even trade. So I'd rather lose one or two FPS, but have a better video at the end. So I pick high quality. Profile. Keep that at main level. Leave it at auto. I do click use two pass encoding. You'll get your video will be more crisp. Uh, GPU, leave it at zero. B frames, put it to. All right. So that is your output. Then we move to audio. Now here, your sample rate is either 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. The way to find that is you come down here to the bottom and you right click on your audio and you just go into playback devices you want to go into whatever you're using so you're using your headset earphone right click on that hit properties go over to advanced and you'll see right here that's 48 kilohertz stereo obviously I don't want mono then we're gonna go to video your base is what you're going to be playing at so I'm, I play in 1920-1080 and then here's another option for you to scale down your resolution so if for whatever reason your system's you know not all that good you can scale this down to 1280 by 720 I really wouldn't recommend going any lower than that I record at 60 frames per second advanced for me I put it as normal it works fine. The render Direct 3D 11. Um, I wouldn't even try OpenGL. Direct 3D 11 is better. Um, video adapter. I don't put anything in there. Color format MV12. And this is pretty much going to be based on your monitor. Leave this recording section alone. The stream delay. Leave that alone. We'll uh, talk about that in another video. Automatically reconnect section, leave that alone too. Bind to IP, leave that as default. Hit apply, and we're done with the settings. Those are my recording settings. I wanted to go ahead and pass them out to you guys. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, I bring out all sorts of different content. I am doing live streaming right now, so. Make sure you hit that notification when you subscribe. That way you're notified when I have a live stream up and you can come and join us. Until next time, take care. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.